the opening game of the home season for the University of Tennessee football team. After two games on the road, the question, is everybody ready? The band is ready. Coach Johnny Majors, head football coach, hopes his team is ready. Young freshman, Alan Cockrell, ready to start at quarterback for the Volunteers. The cheerleaders are ready. The flag of the state of Tennessee leading them on. And the fans are ready too as the orange and white shakers are distributed, part of the tradition of Tennessee football at Thielen Stadium in Knoxville. 93,000 plus ready for the opening of the home season. And this is part of the tradition. The pride of the Southland band, the giant team. It's football time in Tennessee. Tennessee will be playing Colorado State in a night game. And that's the game you'll be seeing. A fan of the crowd in the South stands. For Tennessee, Chris Wampler, 77, Carlton Armstrong, 38. Ready for the toss of the coin by referee Robert Allier. It's been won by Colorado State. Tennessee will be defending the south goal, and kicking off will be freshman Fouad Raves. Tennessee and Colorado State set to go, and here's the kick from the end zone. Colorado State under the ball. Taken juggle there by Latterman. Kick back into the end zone and then on through. Had Latimer, of course, gotten the ball with his momentum out beyond the goal line and then retreated. Points would have occurred, but as it is, it's just a touchback. But a nervous one. State to the line. Miller will be the quarterback. Tennessee in a four-man front. Miller back to throw. Waiting. Pumping. Coming out of the pocket. He's going to run with the ball. 15, 20. Moves to the 25. On he carries the ball to the 28-yard line before he's knocked down. Colorado State going for the first down to the left side, moving the ball forward. Then there's a fumble, and we'll wait and see. Big scramble. Tennessee says it's ha it has the ball, and of course Colorado State, no, we have the ball. But Tennessee comes out of there with the recovery. And it's going to be for the Vols first down and 10 to go. At the Colorado State 45-yard line, James Berry opening a tailback, slashes over the left side of the line, carries for a gain of three yards. Second down, seven at the 42-yard line. Nothing to nothing to score. Game just getting underway. Number six is Alan Cockrell, the freshman quarterback. Rolling to the right of the options, going to run with the ball. Runs through one tackle, runs over another. Then he's jolted and dropped. After picking up... Enough for the first down. Here is a replay, a second look at the run from the sideline angle. Cockrell. There's the tackle missed. Then he's hit and hit hard. That was Tillman who made the stop, but there's a gain of 10, and it's first down 10 for Tennessee at the 32-yard line. Right side, driving, Berry gets three, maybe four yards. Slashing this time over the right side of the line. Second down. Close to seven yards to go for Tennessee. Four-man front by Colorado State. Cockrell pitches, fumbled by Barry, dives after and saves the ball. But there's a sizable loss on the play. Six-yard minus. It'll be third down, 13. Tennessee in Colorado State territory, nothing and nothing to score. Straight drop to throw Cockrell out into the flat. Morris in a tailback makes the catch. Morris moving forward is wrestled down from the rear after he gains for Tennessee nine yards. But it will be short of a first. Fourth down upcoming with four yards to go. So holding will be Junior McBride for the field goal attempt by Ravez. The snap is slightly juggled as it was low. And so the field goal is far short off to the right, no good. State will break from the huddle up to Tennessee's five-man defensive line, 5-2 for the Vols, over shifting to the strong side, which is to the left offensively. Man in motion toward the near side. The quarterback is Miller, but he takes too long to get the play in motion. So a five-yard assessment will be 
rendered against the Colorado State team, and it becomes first down and 15 yards to go. From the shotgun, back to throw. Miller, long pass downfield, complete. Fine reception. It's taken by Colorado State's Ram. Champagne, the man who made the catch. First down and 10. First down pass is intercepted. Lee Jenkins of Tennessee, 40, 35, 30, 25. Knocked out of bounds at the 22-yard line. A second look at the pass, and Jenkins in perfect position, stepped right in front, makes the interception, shows some speed, then is bumped out of bounds. But Tennessee will have it first down and 10 to go. The ball's with Cockrell at quarterback. The tailback now is number 12, sophomore Randall Morris. This is Morris, and he is stuffed up right at the line of scrimmage. Augustine defending there for the Rams of Colorado State. Nothing to nothing the score. Cockrell against a 4-3. Strong side for Tennessee to the right. That's the way the Volunteers will go. Cockrell on the option, keeps, turns the corner, battles his way forward for yardage. Cockrell carries for five. It'll be for Tennessee. Second down, excuse me, third down and five yards to go. State jumps into a five-man front. Here comes the deep reverse with the football around the left side is Mike Miller to the 10. Miller is then rolled down as he gets the ball to the nine-yard line. And it's going to be first down and goal to go for Tennessee. There's the sideline replay. The second look is Mike Miller. Crushes downfield, and he crashes for about nine yards on the play. And Tennessee will have its first down and goal to go. I formation. Morris, five, cuts to the left, drives into the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. From the sideline, a second look. Big block by Mayo, opening the hole, and Morris comes somersaulting into the end zone, and Tennessee leads. Colorado State by a score of six to nothing. On the sideline, Senate Majority Leader Howard Baker watching the game from a camera's eye view. Holding McBride, Reves for the extra point. It is good, and Tennessee leads by a score of seven to nothing. Reves now will be kicking off for Tennessee, leading Colorado State seven to nothing in Knoxville. Here's the kick. Colorado State at the five. This is Latimer to the 10, to the 15. He fumbles that football, scramble for it. Tennessee jumping around as if the Volunteers might have recovered another bobble, and that is the case. It's Wilkinson who recovers for Tennessee, and the Volunteers will have the ball first down and 10 to go. So a pass interception, a fumble, now another fumble. Tennessee first and 10 at the 23-yard line of the Rams against the 4-3. Randall Morris, right side, great effort, still struggling, battling his way for a gain of three yards. Second down, seven for Tennessee. Randall Morris, mostly on his own, could have lost, but instead picks up three yards. Ball to the right hash mark, strong side to the wide side. Tennessee comes on a counter back with the fullback carrying the ball, and that's Doug Furness. He bombs the left side and moves it down to about the 14, where it's got to be third down and a yard to go. Cockrell sneaking behind North and Mayo. I think he got it. Needed a yard. And referee Allier steps in to indicate it is. First down and 10 to go for Tennessee at the 12 yard line of the Rams. The ball's moving toward the north end of the football field. In the I formation against a 4 3 defense. Into the boundary. Morris. Five. Morris. Four. Morris carries the ball to the three yard line. Good blocking on the corner. A rerun, a replay, a second look. It's Morris. Slashing runner, carrying the ball down, where it's got to be for Tennessee. Second and two to go for the first down, three to go for a touchdown. Lee North, number 73, over the ball. Mayo, 67. Streno, 58. Change that. That's Steve Knight in there now at guard. Cockrell keeping. No, he didn't get anything at all. Colorado State there waiting on the option run to the right side. Third down upcoming for the Vols. Third down, two to go. Morris dies. Might have gotten a first down. 
Needed to get the ball down to the two, and that's about where it is. And it's going to be first down and goal to go for Tennessee. To the line come the ball. This is Morris into the end zone. Touchdown, the Volunteers. There was a fumble of the ball by Morris after he had crossed the plane of the goal line. So the score is 13 to nothing. Fuad Raves in to attempt the extra point. It's up and it's good. And the first period comes to a close with the score Tennessee 14, Colorado State nothing. Ready to move into the second period. Tennessee fans are happy, and we pick up the action with Colorado State. First down and 10 to go. New quarterback in there is Terry Nugent. Carrying the ball to the state 40-yard line was Hendricks. Ball at the 40. Second down, some six yards to go. Lindsey this time tries to circle the right side of the line, but they're waiting a 77 Wampler. So Nugent on a delay hands the ball off, and you see the sideline second look as Wampler with Lamont Holt teaming up on the tackle. Now from the shotgun, back to throw. Nugent, the pass is complete. Taken by Champagne. And that will be enough for the first down. First and 10, Colorado State. The Rams trail 14 to nothing. Tennessee waiting there on the dive to the center of the line. Leonard Jackson at the bottom of the heap for Tennessee. No gain on the play, second down 10. In motion, Hendricks. Back to throw Nugent. His pass to Hendricks is complete just inside the east sideline. He falls out of bounds. A gain on the play of right at six yards. Third down and four. Nugent being pursued by White. Throws the ball as he's being thrown down. And I think that may very well be intentional grounding. Reggie White, sophomore, Chattanooga, Tennessee. There it is, intentional grounding. And that signal says it is a loss of down as well. Fourth down. And so in to punt. The punt is blocked. Mike Kofer, 93, clean block, follows the ball out of bounds, and Tennessee with another big defensive play. A second look as back to punt will be Pool. There's the snap. Beautiful, beautiful, perfect block. Absolutely perfect block by 6'5", Mike Kofer. And he's ridden down by 92. 84, 92 is White, 84 Ingram. So Tennessee with a cleanly blocked punt, the second blocked punt of the year, although the earlier one at Georgia was nullified because Tennessee had 12 men on the field at the time. So the Volunteers will have it. First down and goal to go. Ball at the seven-yard line. Power eye formation, strength to the right. Randall Morris, right side, inside the five, crunching it out down to about the four-yard line. Shove back after moving the ball down there. But on the play, Tennessee was guilty of illegal procedure. Five-yard penalty makes it first and goal at the 12-yard line. Cockrell, the freshman quarterback. Two tight ends in the game. Jones left, Kofer right. Six-man front, Colorado State. Rolling out, Cockrell passes. It's complete. Mike Kofer makes the catch. Down to the three. Second down and goal for Tennessee, leading 14 to nothing. Cockrell into the end zone. The pass is, no, that's a second look. The second look at that throw and catch by Kofer. Fine effort by Cockrell and by Kofer. Now back to live action. And this is Morris through the left side. Falls forward to the one where Tennessee will have a third and goal, leading 14 to nothing. Six-man line here with the ball. Morris carrying, struggling, fumbling the football. It's recovered by Colorado State. Second effort by Morris cost him possession, and Colorado State alertly comes up with the football. The Rams will have it first down and 10 to go. From the south end zone, ball at the two-yard line. Nugent, hand off to Hendricks, and Hendricks grinds it out for a couple of yards at the two to the four. 40 is Bates for Tennessee as it will be second down and eight yards to go. Now again, this will be Lindsey to the right side and Lindsey powers up to close to the 10 yard line as he gets some running room on the right side, picks up five yards. Third down, three yards to go for the first. Tennessee leading 14 to nothing. 
Nugent, handoff, Hendricks. No, he did not get there. Tennessee's forward wall has stopped the Colorado State team, so into the game to punt will be Powell from his own end zone. The punt is away, and it's a nice one. High, spiraling punt. Galt under the ball at the Tennessee 45 to midfield. Jukes comes to the outside, looks for room, gets down to the 45. There's a clip. And Galt is dropped, and the penalty marker flies. As a clip is called against Tennessee, you saw it right as Galt made his cut. And a 15-yard assessment is marked off against Tennessee. The punt by Powell is good for 43 yards. Tennessee first and 10 at its 41-yard line. Cockrell pitches with it. Morris, 40, 43. That's where he's knocked down. Tennessee will have the ball second down, eight yards to go, just outside the 42-yard line as they spot it against a 4-3 defense. Cockrell back to throw. No, Tennessee's going to be sacked behind the line of scrimmage. It's big Augustine not touched on the corner. Comes powering through and throws Cockrell for a loss. Third down, 17 yards to go for the Volunteers. Cockrell again back to throw. Waiting. Here's the pass downfield. It is intercepted. Taken away by Tillman to 50. Back to the 45, to the 40, to the 35, to the 30. Inside Tennessee's 25-yard line. He's rolled down. And it will be Colorado State. First down and 10 to go. The Rams to the line with Nugent shifting his team into the I formation. Tailback with the ball, Lindsay, and Lindsay up the middle. Nudges the ball for a gain of four yards. Second down and six at the 19. Shifting into the shotgun, Terry Newton against a 4-3. Inside reverse, handed off with the ball, the right halfback around the left side of the line for a couple of yards. Tennessee stacking it up pretty well. We'll see a second look from the sideline. There's the give with it, Hendricks to the left, cuts inside, and he is popped and dropped. 68 is Jackson, 84 is Ingram. Third down, four yards to go. Nugent back to throw into the end zone. The pass is caught, but out of bounds is Champagne. Incomplete. Fourth down. Tennessee's coaching staff defensively shouting instructions and encouragement. So Colorado State will be attempting a field goal of... 34 yards. There's the kick in the air, and it is no good. Off to the left. And so Tennessee is held, and the Volunteers will put the ball in play at the 20-yard line first down. State in a 4-3, bringing quarterback out on the left side. Handoff tolls. He's hit behind the line of scrimmage. Squirms free of that tackle and moves it forward for close to five yards. Fine effort by the freshman from Forsyth, Georgia, Alvin Tolls. Tolls again, counterplay, running room, past the 30. He's got a first down as he moves it out to the 31-yard line. Tennessee 14, Colorado State nothing. Second period winding down the first half. Randall Mars, big hole, out to the outside, and he is hit and dropped as he gets to the 40, 43-yard line. Fine hole by Tennessee, blocking on the left side. You'll see Morris start to the right. Now he cuts back inside the block by Mayo. Then to the outside, might have had more room inside, but he swung to the left and carries the ball for the first down. First and 10, Tennessee at the 43. Cockrell to throw, the pass downfield is complete. Willie Galt makes the catch and then is bumped out of bounds immediately. But the ball stopping the clock with less than a minute to go, picking up nine, it'll be second down a yard to go. The ball's with the strength to the right side. Back to throw Cockrell, pass is going to be deflected, diving, caught, great reception by Mike Miller after it was deflected by Augustine. And that's enough for a first down. First and 10, Tennessee. Ball rests at the Colorado State 45-yard line as Cockwell takes a straight drop. Pumps, passes downfield. The pass is complete. Brilliant, brilliant catch. Mike Miller. A second look from the end zone. Cockrell pumping. Now here you see the long pass, and here you see Miller running under it with an over-the-head catch. Brilliant, brilliant catch. Mike Miller. He's a junior from Flint, Michigan. A third look at this reception. Cockrell skies the ball. Miller, beautiful, beautiful effort. 
And Tennessee's got a first down. Mike Miller. Tennessee leading 14 to nothing, and the Vols had the ball first down and goal at the nine yard line. Tennessee splits the running backs this time. Two tight ends in the football game. Cockrell rolling to the right. He's going to run with the ball. Cockrell outside at the five. Breaks a tackle. Carries the ball down to the one-yard line. It's bolted down short of the goal line. And Tennessee will have it second down and goal. A second look as Cockrell comes out of the option. Outside the block. Moves it on down there, as you see, to the one-yard line where he scurried out of bounds. But Tennessee will have it second down and goal. From the end zone, Cockrell lining up against the goal line defense. Cockrell sneaking, Cockrell scoring, Tennessee leads 20 to nothing. In to attempt the extra point will be Fuad Ravez. He curls it off to the left, and the kick is good. So the first half comes to a close, and Tennessee leads by a score of 21 to nothing. And as the second half commences, Colorado State will be kicking off. This is Poole coming forward to meet the ball. The kick coming downfield. Willie Galt fumbles the ball at the 5, picks it up at the 10. 15, Galt 20, 25, 30, 35. Now he carries the ball to the 40-yard line. Tennessee first down, 10 to go at the 40. Cockrell, handoff. With it is Randall Morris, and Morris doesn't get much. No gain on the play as Beasley is there. It should be Sheasley making the stop. Second down, 10. Cockrell, pitches, juggle, grabbed Morris for a loss of two. So Tennessee unable to get untracked here early in the second half of the game. It's third down and 12. State, Colorado State in that 4-3. Cockrell slips, shoots the pass short and incomplete. So it's first, a fourth down for Tennessee, and it will be first down. Apparently for Colorado State is in to punt will be Jimmy Colquitt for Tennessee, the freshman. He'll be standing back in the vicinity of his 25-yard line. The snap. Colquitt's punt is away. Under the ball and taking the fair catch will be Tillman. The ball at the 22-yard line. Colorado State with Nugent at quarterback. Splitting the running backs this time. Straight drop to throw. Here's the pass. It is incomplete, I think. We'll wait and see whether it was a trap. It's ruled that he caught that football. Champagne for a gain of five yards. Fine reception by Champagne. Pulling it up off the turf before it bounded. Delay on a trap handoff right side, carrying the ball through there. Moves Lindsey. He gets a couple of yards, short on the first by about three. Third down, closer to two to go. Nugent, handoff Lindsey. No, he's caught this time, written down for no gain. Actually, a loss of about a yard on the play. So into punt will be Powell, and deep for Tennessee goes Willie Galt. The punt is away. Galt backs up. Pulls it down, 23. Looking for room, back and forth. Moves it out to the 29-yard line for a return. Six yards on the play. And Tennessee will have it first down and 10 to go. The Vols lead 21 to nothing in the third period. The pitch is to Randall Morris. Blocked by Tolles in the corner. Morris slides inside, coming forward at the football. And Morris picks up nine yards. Second, one to go for Tennessee. 4-3 defense by Colorado State. Tennessee with the strength to the right. And the balls come with a little counter back to the left, and this is Alvin Tolles, and the freshman fullback comes banging through the center of the line, twisting and turning, and moving forward. What a first down. A second look at the run by Tolles. The blocking there you see by North, and there you see Tolles hugging right behind the block of his center, moving the ball for the first down. Tennessee first down, 10 to go. 
Cockrell on the option pitches. This is Morris at the corner. 50, 45, inside 40. Carries the ball inside the 40-yard line all the way down to the 36 before he's finally rolled down. A second look at the run by tailback Randall Morris. Pitch, 50, 45, 40 with a great cut. Great effort. He's down to the 36-yard line. Tennessee moving with the football. It's first down and 10 to go. The Vols lead 21 to nothing in the third period. Up over the ball, Lee North. Knight and Mayo the guards. Number 12, the tail of the 10, and that's Randall Morris. The fullback is Tolls. This is Tolls. Tolls ramming right up the center of this line. This time picks up four yards, and it's second down and six. State four-man line the linebacker hugged in close now backs off Cockrell handoff tolls big hole tolls toll carry the ball for a first down from the sideline a look at the blocking of Tennessee's offensive line Alvin tolls on that counter cuts back to the left across the grade he's got nine yards and Tennessee's got a first down first and ten at the state 23 yard line the ball is doing it on the ground. Pitch Morris. Fumbles that football. It's banged around on Ricochet, diving after it. We'll wait and see who gets it. Tennessee recovers. Kenny Jones is the man who recovers, but there's a loss on the play of eight yards. Cockrell passing. It is incomplete. Intended over there for Darrell Wilson. Slightly overthrown, so it's third down for Tennessee. State in a 4-3. Cockrell back to throw. Looking, here's the pass. Complete, Wilson. Great move, Wilson, 20. Wilson down to the 15 where he shoved out of bounds. And that will be enough for the first down. Here's the pass for Tennessee. A second look again at Wilson. We set a first down. The officials say, no, it's not quite a first down. About a yard shy. So it's fourth down upcoming, and Tennessee has a decision. The Volunteers are going to go for the first down. Fourth down, a couple of yards to go. Tennessee leading 21 to nothing. Cockrell for Tennessee. And the keeper, Cockrell keeps. Great move. Cockrell's in. Five. Touchdown, Tennessee. A second look. And watch this fake pitch right here. That set it up and Cockrell carries the ball into the end zone just inside the pylon and the Volunteers open the lead to 27 to nothing. Alan Cockrell on the option carries it in and now holding will be McBride for Reves's extra point attempt. It's perfect. And Tennessee leads by a score of 28 to nothing. For Tennessee, number 20, John Warren will be into the football game to kick off. It's Warren to kick off of the Volunteers. Here comes Warren. Very, very high kick. It's taken by an up back at the 5 to the 10, lumbering out to the 15. That's not a back. That's a big tackle. Who carries the ball back upfield? That's Call, who brought the ball back, and it will be first down and 10 to go. State with the ball at its 21-yard line. Out of the shotgun. Nugent. Here's the pass. It is complete. Camp, the tight end, running underneath, makes the grab. Backing off outside linebacker, in this case, Brian Ingram made the stop on him. It's a first down. Pass this time complete at the corner. With the ball is Hendricks, and Hendricks rambles forward for what appears to be another first down. It's first down for Colorado State, trailing 28 to nothing at their 47-yard line. Pitch, oh, roll down behind the line of scrimmage. This was Lindsey as Reggie White was out there defensively. There you see the second look from the end zone as big 92 Reggie White overpowers the offensive line. Still in the shotgun, back to throw Nugent. Long pass downfield, it is intercepted by Tennessee. 
Duncan intercepts. From the sideline, a look at the shotgun. A look at the long pass, and you'll see how right in perfect position, Clyde Duncan makes the interception. And Tennessee, again, comes up with a big defensive play, and the Volunteers go on offense. Clyde Duncan, number 24, with the interception. Now for Tennessee at quarterback. It's Steve Alatori. Passing, complete. Willie Galt to the 30 and on forward to the 32-yard line. Gain on the play of 14. It's first down for the Volunteers. Carrying the ball for Tennessee, this is Chuck Coleman, who's come on a tailback now, a sophomore from Louisville, Kentucky. He sweeps the right side for a gain of six yards. Second down, four. Alatori, quick outlet pass, complete. Willie Galt, he's got a first down. Moving forward for a gain of five, and it's first and 10 at the 43-yard line of Tennessee. The Vols lead 28 to nothing in the third period. Alatori on the pitch, Coleman inside, moving nicely. Still running with that football, and Coleman powers his way for a gain of five yards, making it second and five at the 48-yard line. The pitch is to Coleman. Out front, Furness leading the block, and here's turning inside as Coleman, and Coleman slashing back across the grain, moves the ball forward for a first down. A second look, the pitch to Coleman. You'll see him move right inside Furness's block there, and then running, almost sidestepping his way forward for a gain of 10. Tennessee first down, 10 to go at the 42-yard line of Colorado State. Alatori, his team in the I formation. Back to throw Alatori. Looking down the middle, post pattern route. It is broken up incomplete. Tennessee had two receivers. Taylor, and I can't check the number of the other one, running together. But then a penalty marker is down, and it's ruled pass interference against Colorado State. Pass interference. So Tennessee, the beneficiary of the penalty, first down and goal to go. The pitch will go to Coleman. Coleman cuts at the 10, back to the 5, here he goes, into the end zone! Touchdown, Tennessee! A second look. 35 is Coleman. There's Furness blocking on the end, and Coleman comes cutting back across into the end zone to score, and Tennessee builds its lead to 34 to nothing. 58, Steve Knight. 35, Coleman sophomore with his first touchdown. Excellent, excellent run. And Ravez is on to attempt the extra point. His kick is good. So Tennessee now leads by a score of 35 to nothing over Colorado State. And kicking off of the balls, it will be Ravez. Sends it high and long into the end zone. It will be down at that point by Latterman. And so State goes on offense, first down and said to go at its 20-yard line. They shift. Latimer, no, nothing there at all. In fact, he shoved backward. His forward progress carries him back to the line of scrimmage as the third period comes to a close. At the end of three, Tennessee, 35, Colorado State, nothing. Push him back, push him back. Colorado State breaking from the huddle to the 20 yard line now moving toward the south end of the football field at Neyland Stadium shifting into the shotgun Nugent back to throw looking across the middle there's the man the pass is complete Latimer came out of the backfield he was the recipient of the pass gain of five yards it's second down Here's Latimer throwing. This time the pass is complete. Great grab by Champagne. So Colorado State comes to the line once more. With the ball, this is Nugent sneaking over the left side of the line. He moves it forward for a yard. And State will have the ball first down. First down, 10 to go, Colorado State, trailing 35 to nothing. In motion, that was Camp, the tight end. Back to throw Nugent. Here's the pass. It is 
No, he had to pump and then runs out of there with the ball. And he's dropped for a loss on the play of a yard. So Tennessee overpowering defensively. Ricky Holt was there. So was Johnny Williams. Fourth period, Tennessee leading 35 to nothing. Eugen is hit, fumbles the football, racing after it, 83. Ricky Holt, the freshman defensive end, and Tennessee's got the ball. Tennessee gets the pressure on Eugen. He looks up, and his arm is hit, and he loses possession. Here you'll see it from the end zone. There you see the ball cracked free. Racing after it is Ricky Holt. And Tennessee's got possession. First down 10 at the state 14-yard line. To the line, Tennessee with Alatori at quarterback. Leading 35 to nothing. The pitch goes to Coleman. Coleman 15, Coleman 10, Coleman 5. Coleman carries the ball to the four-yard line. On the play, however, Tennessee guilty of holding. Illegal use of hands, 10 yards step off. First down, 20, Tennessee at the 24-yard line. Alatori wants to throw. Here's the pass across the middle. It's complete. Doug Furnace, the fullback, pulls it down. Again on the play of four yards. So it'll be second down and 16 yards to go. Tennessee, strong side right, high formation. Alatori back to throw. Here's the pass. It is complete. Mike Cooper dives back to make it. And it's third down and nine for Tennessee. Alatori at quarterback. Tolls behind him. Alatori back to throw. Looking. Here's the pass downfield. It is complete. Touchdown, Tennessee. Willie Gauff. A second look from the sideline. Alatori. There's the pass. Perfectly thrown. Great reception by Gold, who was pretty well defended. But Alatori is right on target, and Willie Gold gets Tennessee another touchdown, and the Volunteers lead 41 to nothing over Colorado State. Fuad Reves will be on to attempt the extra point. F U A D R E V E I Z. The kick is good. Tennessee 42, Colorado State nothing. And Reves will be kicking off from the ball spotted at his 40-yard line. It's going to be sort of a squibber. Takes a bounce downfield. Hard to handle, but picked up by Latimer. Latimer comes straight up the field and is rolled down as he gets the ball back to the 21-yard line of Colorado State. First and 10 for the Rams. Nugent, the quarterback. Delay, handoff. Hendricks, running room, 25. Hendricks carries the ball to the 28-yard line. Gain on the play of seven yards. Second down and three. And off this time to the fullback. And cracking up the middle comes Hendricks. And Hendricks is a first down as he moves the ball out there to the 34-yard line. First and 10, Colorado State. Eugene with a straight drop. Good protection. Now breaking down. He's got to be rolled down. Todd Upton, a freshman nose guard from Alcoa, Tennessee, got to him and throws him for the loss. Here you see it again. Todd Upton, number 70, throwing him down for the loss on the play. A loss of seven yards at second down and 17. State shifts into the shotgun. Hand off. Lindsay, outside, turning the corner, running with the football, moving it past the 40-yard line. Finally knocked down by freshman Chris White. Gain of 15. State trying for the first down. It is stacked up in the middle. Mark Burns there defensively for Tennessee. Fourth down, two yards to go, and State trying for the first down. This time I think they get it. Faking the punt. Powell was back to boot, and Hendricks on the snap to the fullback up near the line of scrimmage, crashes through and gives, uh, gives Colorado State a first down. First and 10 for the Rams. Eugen back to throw. Here comes Upton, and Upton rolls him down. 70 is Upton. 
battling to get free and putting the pressure on. A second look, and Upton will not be denied. Grabs the jersey and slings him down for the loss. Ten-yard loss that time as Upton gets to Nugent and throws him down. Second down, 20 yards to go. Back to throw. Nugent, pass complete. With the ball, this is Lindsey. Great move by Lindsey. Still running with the football, and he carries it down into Tennessee territory. Gain on the play of 18, but it will be third down and two. State trying to get something on the board. The youthful Tennessee defenders, second and third teamers in there right now, trying to keep the whitewash in effect. Nugent, oh, he's ripped and thrown down, and a penalty marker is down. Jackson got there. Number 68, number 70 is Upton. But Tennessee's guilty of a face mask. Grabbing the face mask, and that will be a penalty that will move the ball deep into Tennessee territory. Back to throw, Newton. It is complete. Taken by Camp. And so State is threatening. Second down, two to go. Back to throw, Newton. Long pass down into the end zone. It is intercepted by 86, Doug Parrish. Tennessee stops Colorado State. The Volunteers go on to win the football game 42 to nothing. Alan Cockrell. Brian Ingram. Reggie White. It's a happy Tennessee locker room after the 42 to nothing win over Colorado State. With a center, Lee North of the Volunteers. Lee, the offensive line, he looked 100% better this week. We looked a lot better in the last two weeks, Bob. We come off the ball, we got to the people, we drove them back, we looked a whole bunch better. Lee Jenkins sort of set the tone, but the offense was able to take advantage of the turnovers. The defense did wonderful tonight. They took the ball, they got it from the offense a couple of times. We had a great shot at taking it and driving it in on some good drives and all that. We got good field position off of it. So we had a lot of good breaks happen. Defensive coordinator Bobby Jackson with us. Bobby, congratulations on the shutout. Defense looked very good. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it. What about the defensive performance? What were the keys, the pass rush maybe? Well, we had better pass rush than we've had, and I think we played better uh, pass defense, you know, with our people that were dropping back. So I think it was a combination, but uh, we, we were, we're real proud of him tonight. You made a switch. You put Holt at, uh, or Jeffers, I should say, from defensive end to linebacker. He seemed to do a lot of things good. Well, uh, we knew Lamont could play linebacker. We've known that all along. Of course, he played linebacker last year for us. We moved him back this week to, to give us some strength because at the linebacker position, we thought maybe that, well, hope, we hoped that Ricky Holt could come in and play defensive end. And I'm sure Ricky didn't play a great game, but uh, I think he did some good things, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to stay like that. Is this what the defense needed, just a confidence builder, you think? I hope so. We, <laughs> we'll find out in the, uh, in the future, but we certainly needed it, I'll tell you that. Lee Jenkins from Atlanta, Georgia, intercepted his first pass of his career at Tennessee, ran it back for a touchdown in the first quarter, got things going for Tennessee. Lee, congratulations. Tell us about the play. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, for one thing, it wasn't a touchdown. I think I set up the touchdown. But... Uh, they tried to play before, uh, a couple of plays before, they tried the same play and it was nullified by a penalty or something. I just read the play and I just thanked the Lord I was in the right place at the right time. And I hope that, I was hoping that would lift up the team and I think it did. Lee, did you see a new spirit on the team tonight, the defensive squad especially? Oh, definitely. Uh, both the offense complement the defense and the defense definitely complement the offense. And uh, the offense really fired us up and we tried to give them good field position. They certainly capitalized on every opportunity they had to score. When Tennessee jumped out early, Colorado State had to change their offensive plan a little bit, threw almost every down, and you guys were just laying back. <laughs> yeah, that's what we wanted in the, uh, well, that's what we really practiced for all week was the pass. And uh, it just gave us a chance to make a lot of big plays, and we capitalized on them and just came up with a big play, and I just was glad we did. It's Mike Cofer, linebacker from Rural High School in Knoxville. Mike, congratulations on the shutout. Thank you. What do you think about the defensive effort tonight? I think we played very aggressive. We played with a lot of enthusiasm, and we also played with pride. What has been the difference to, in the Colorado State game and the other first two games of the season, attitude-wise or maybe technique? I think both, technique and attitude-wise. And I think we also play with more you know, enthusiasm than we did the other two games to me. Playing at home helped too, didn't it? It really does. This freshman quarterback, Alan Conkrell from Joplin, Missouri. Alan, congratulations on the win. Your first start as a Tennessee Volunteer. Thank you very much. Um, you know, we hit, it, was a, it was a big win for us, you know, coming off a... Two, two tough losses two previous weeks and uh, 
and uh, you know it, that just gives us a taste of it now. We've got to go out and, and work harder each week and you know win each week now. Well, it's been a good week of practice, wasn't it? Yeah, it sure was. You know, they got us. Coaches got us prepared for us. You know, prepared for this game real well, and uh, we uh, we went out and did did things like we should have. Coach Major to talk about field position in the first two games. Tennessee's lack of it. This game, Tennessee had great field position, and you took advantage of we it. We sure did. Our defense gave us the ball on our side of the field, you know, two times there in the first quarter, and, uh, and we scored. Uh, you know, that, that was the thing in the past two weeks. We were always starting down on uh, inside our own 20, and that limits your offense. Personally, glad to get the first one out of the way. Sure am. I'm glad to get one under the belt, and, uh, you know, hopefully just get better each day and each week. Great. Tennessee wins 42 to nothing over Colorado State. Next week, it's Auburn here at Neyland Stadium. This is Bob Kessling reporting from the Tennessee Locker Room.